So we are here in an embalming room, also called the preparation room. So there's sometimes on videos you'll hear me say prep room, which is slang. I try and avoid slang, um, but that's what we call this room is a prep room because we do our preparations of the deceased in them, whether it's embalming, whether it's getting them just ready for maybe a viewing, whether they're just getting bathed, whatever it is, we come into a preparation room to do that. So it may be called an embalming room to some people just because an embalming goes on there, but it really is a preparation room. Um, this one is not one that is in use, so there's not, um, it's not fully stocked in things. So it's not um, one that is actively being used. But a lot of preparation rooms, let me read this because it might be backwards to you guys. Remember, this preparation room becomes sacred when a family entrusts us with one of their most precious possessions. Keep faith with them by conducting yourself as though the family were present. The body is dear to them. Treat it reverently. A lot of preparation rooms you'll find have signs like this, have different oaths, things that are posted to help. I think remember and remind us that we do need to be caring for and conducting ourselves as if someone is watching, whether it's the state board to make sure we're, you know, doing things on the up and up, whether it's the family to make sure we're being as absolutely respectful as possible. But welcome to a preparation room.